My name is Bailey Dittman. I am the current Miss Central States Fair with the Miss America pageant and Miss South Dakota. I'm really excited to be here. I grew up in Spearfish, so I've been coming to this fair my whole life, and I'm very excited to have this title this year. Good afternoon again. Thank you so much for attending the 75th Annual Central States Fair kickoff. We're excited to have you here today. As you know, Munchy Sarah typically empties the kickoff, but he thought he wanted someone a little bit prettier, prettier to do it this year. So I've asked my co-chair, Rachel Day, to join me. <laughs> I'm Sarissa Thompson, Chair of the PR and Marketing Committee, and this is my co-chair, Rachel Day. Thank you for helping us celebrate the start of an amazing week. We've got a full week of entertainment at the grandstands, as well as free entertainment throughout the grounds. 75 years ago, houses were selling for $5,000. A gallon of gas was 15 cents. A loaf of bread, 10 cents. U.S. postage stamp was 3 cents. We all know that the, that is not the case anymore. But one thing has not changed. That's the fair, the fun, and the community that it brings together. To start us off today, I'd like to introduce you to our Central States Fair President, Board of Director, President of the Board of Directors, Munchie Sarah. <laughs> he took my sunglasses away. <laughs> Hey, welcome everybody, and again, thank you for coming. This is the 75th Annual Central States Fair event. We have a lot of things going on. I know for the, um, after I'm done, for the next hour and a half, Ron will be talking about what's going on at the event. <laughs> but before I do that, I just want to make a, say a few words. First of all, I do want to recognize the board members here. We have Dave Yurick here, John Kirsteins, Mark DeSantos with Payne County, Bart Banks, oh, Jerry Cope, <laughs> he's right behind me, I had to turn him look. Jim Hunt, Clay Cross, John Roberts with the City of Rapid City, also a liaison with us in the Pennington County Commissioner, Commissioner Deb Hadcock, and, oh, that's my board, so I'm going to let Ron do the other introductions. And we do have other board members who are not here. We have Tyler uh, Trevelyan, who's not here, Lynn Kendall, Tiff Robertson, who am I missing there, Ron? Who? Dean Johnson, he's our vice president. He's not able to make it here, but I, I just want to say a few things about the hard work that board members do along with the staff. First of all, this is the 75th annual. We had a lot of challenges this year, as you all know. No other than other, no different than any other event throughout the Black Hills or throughout the country, putting on an event was really challenging. But I will tell you, this board of directors stepped up to the plate. They believed in what we're doing today. We believe in the mission. We understand the economic impact our fair has to Rapid City and Pennington County. But most important, we want to make sure that everyone enjoys the fair and stays safe. And we have a lot of things in place to make sure those things are happening. But these board members also just wanted to mention is they're not just board members where they come to a meeting, they nod their heads and they vote. Um, these are working board members. They're not only involved with the board of directors, some of them chair committees, task force, they're liaison on committees. They, you'll see them at the rodeo, you'll see them at the carnival, you'll see them are walking around just doing all sorts of things, volunteering and checking out what's going on to make sure everyone is safe. So I, again, please give me a, a big appreciation hand um, to the board of directors if you can. And that being said, again, I want to thank you all for coming out. Um, this means a lot to us when we have you as supporters coming to the fair. And please share with your friends to come out to the fair and make sure they're healthy when they come to the fair because that's going to be important to us as well. That being said, I'm going to give it back to Sarissa. Is that who I give it back to? Or Rachel? Here, let's give Rachel a hand. Thank you much. And thank you for your leadership. I now would like to introduce Ron Jeffries, the general manager of Central States Fair, to say a few words. I guess he gets an hour and a half according to much, so go grab another beer. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, thank you again, everybody, for coming. I also want to recognize Bailey Dittman, Miss Central States Fair. <laughs> Bailey was crowned last year, and uh, under the circumstances, we get to actually have her queen for two years in a row, so we're excited to have her. Thanks for coming back again, Bailey. Appreciate having you. She's a student up at Spearfish, so. 
Um, I also want to mention uh, Lloyd LaCroix, Ron Roskinet, Gary Drews. Would you guys make your way up here so, for, for the county proclamation, please? Folks, it's been a challenging year, uh, to say the least, as many of you know. But I'll tell you, not once did our board of directors or our staff lose faith in the ability to pull off a great, safe community event. And uh, lots of hours, more hours than we've ever had to put into a fair, uh, went into putting this fair on. And I'm proud of the job. I'm proud of the decision for the governor to keep our state open. I'm proud of our board of directors to recognize that the staff would have the ability to put on a good event, a safe event. And I'm proud of the staff for all the time, effort, and dedication they put into bringing this fair to our community. It takes a lot of people out there, as uh, much mentioned, there's a number of volunteers that are involved with this. And quite honestly, without the support of our sponsors and our volunteers, the fair, the Black Hill Stock Show, the multiple events we do all year long would not be possible. That with the support of the Pennington County Board of Commissioners and the City Council, we were able to build a new stall barn that's located right behind us here. Another 88 stalls to allow us to host events. We started using that the first part of the year this year, and it has been full active all summer long. So we're excited about the addition of that new building to our fairgrounds. We also have right off to your left here, a brand new grain bin bar. Uh, concept of a manicammer, we added something different. We'd had all kinds of different uh, venues set up over here and we finally got to put one up that we don't have to tear down at the end of the fair. So we're excited about that. When we conclude here, we invite you to all come over and help us christen the new Spider Monkey Grain Bin Bar when we're done. Lots of fun, of fun things going on here, folks. We brought a carnival out this year. Of course, carnivals weren't traveling across America. Our carnival was in Texas and it lost its entire route and was unable to come. We were able to work with the Sioux Empire Fair, the South Dakota State Fair, and the Brown County Fair. They each had three different providers, carriers, three different carnivals, two from Texas and one from uh, just outside of Rochester, Minnesota. Those three carriers came under Todd Armstrong shows and we brought 10 rides from each of those different carriers to come back over and do our fair. In fact, the concept was working so well that they actually did the Sioux Empire Fair, the Brown County Fair with those same three carnivals teaming up. And when they're done with our fair, they'll head over to the state fair. Uh, we're very fortunate to have the, the team concept working in the carnival industry. It's not always the case, but we are excited to put out a great venue, some rides that have not been here for many, many years. We were able to bring a zipper back in, the Ring of Fire, some new rides, The uh, and I'll challenge anybody on the 2X Extreme, 2 Extreme ride down here. It's a ride that spins, like a, if your hand was a claw, your wrist would spin around, each of the fingertips, which you're actually sitting on, would spin around, and the whole ride would rock back and forth. So it's moving you in three different directions at the same time, guaranteed to put all the corn dogs back out on the tarmac. <laughs> but we're, we're super excited to have rides like that that have never been to, to Rapid City before. So we're excited about the job that Carnival's done. We've got a great grandstand lineup. We did not mince any uh, uh, effort in putting together a full lineup. We didn't pull back any nights. We filled every single night. We've got the Supercross races tonight. We've got the Mountain States Ford Demolition Derby tomorrow night. We've got two nights of Rock in the Arena concerts with a lot of local and regional acts. We've also got three nights of Range Days Rodeo, be one of the best rodeo performances you'll see all year. And we've got the PRCA Extreme Bronc Finals. Uh, this is the finale to the entire uh, PRCA Bronc Match Tour. And we're super excited to, to be able to host those events here during this Central States Fair. One of the things that did happen last year when we hosted the Extreme Bronx Finals, the commissioner from the PRCA, George Taylor, was up to watch it. And when he got done seeing that, he had the faith that this facility was capable of doing a lot more. Uh, Rory Lemmel uh, was working with the PRCA for a plan about what would happen to the Pro Rodeo Tour finale, which is the top 50 rodeos in the year, all the competitors that compete at that event, they go to one last finale, just like our Extreme Bronx finale. Puyallup, Washington was unable to host because of their uh, governor's rulings. South Dakota was open to have that event, and Rory Lemo was able to bring that event, so we're excited to bring one of five national PRCA finales to Rapid City with the Pro Tour finale coming to us September 22nd to the 26th. That would not have happened without the efforts of our board of directors, our rodeo committee, and our staff. Um, we're excited to be on the, the uh, national spotlight for events like that. I know there are a few things that are not going to take place this year, 
uh, German tent, uh, open class, but we've got a number of things that will take place that will make up for that. 4-H has got great exhibits going on up there. Rebecca Bader has done a great job with a different variety of vendors, uh, more vendors and more variety of vendors than we've ever had. Great carnival aspect, great grandstand entertainment, and plenty of free stage entertainment as well. We, we appreciate you being here and hope you can find time in your week to bring your family out, enjoy a little bit of fun, safe community atmosphere. Thank you for coming to the 75th anniversary of the Central States Fair. Did anyone time that? I think that was a world record. <laughs> Thank you so much, Ron. Next, we'd also like to, uh, uh, excuse me, we would like to appreciate the, the strong relationship that we have with the Pennington County Commissioners. Here to say a few words on behalf of the commission is Mark DeSanto and Deb Hadcock. I guess I'll go first. Deb says, uh, gave me permission. She's the chair. So uh, anybody want to second that motion? Uh, anyhow, uh, yesterday, much uh, you said our president made a comment to me that I had a really loud voice. So I just think I'm going to use my God-given talent of having a loud voice, and I'm going to tell the whole fair and everybody that's here, welcome to the 75th annual Central States Fair! Yeah! Good afternoon. I'm going to introduce our board, Gary Drews. Uh, Commissioner Drews, would you like to say a few words, please? Thank you, Deb. The only thing I want to say is I just want to say thank you to this uh, board and Ron's staff. Uh, they've done a wonderful job. You know, this is something that's not taking place in most areas of the United States this year. And so we're very fortunate that they worked their tails off to get this going, and it's going to be enjoyable. Thank you much. Commissioner Rosconnect, please. Well, I'm not much for words, but I do want to say that I'm proud to be on this commission. We've uh, got to know each other really a lot better, and we've been through some trying times. And uh, I really want to thank Ron Jeffries for picking up the pieces, as I said at our last meeting, and bringing the fair to its 75th anniversary. And I know it's going to be one of the best. And thank you all for coming. <laughs> Commissioner Lori LaCroix, would you like to say a few words? You know, I really don't have anything to say, but I want to thank the board for working so hard to make this happen. A lot of other communities are not doing what we're doing, and I think this is a start to get our community going, is getting us back together. Thank you. Thank you, Commissioners. We do have the executive proclamation from Pennington County, uh, the 2020 Central States Fair, August 21st through August 30th, 2020. On Friday, August 21st, 2020, the 75th Annual Central States Fair kicks off with 10 full days showcasing the county's best in animals, produce, crafts, and wares, along with entertainment, rodeo, rides, and fair food. The Central States Fair is one of the region's largest fairs which attracts nearly 150,000 attendees each year by showcasing agriculture, tourism, and our community alike. The Central States Fair plays an important role in the growth of development of 4-H youth. They have an opportunity to showcase their projects, animals, speaking skills, and knowledge, all, right, all while receiving acknowledgement and recognition from their hard work and dedication. The Central States Fair allows them to share what they have learned with public promote with the public, promote the 4-H program, and educate the community about the benefits of 4-H youth who participate in the fair, learn responsibility and, and sportsmanship while strengthening their confidence and communication skills. Whereas the Central States Fair is beloved tradition celebrating agriculture, past, present, and future of our community. Whereas it's the most appropriate for the people of Pennington County to join together as we celebrate the 75th Annual Central States Fair in Pennington County. Now, therefore, let it known that the Pennington County Board of Commissioners encourage all citizens to visit the Central States Fair August 21st through the 30th and enjoy a true community event that has a positive impact for our community for 75 years. Um, I'd like to say that our board is very proud of this uh, board of directors this year. They've had to work above and beyond uh, because of the COVID and different things that were happening in, uh, around the United States and uh, our world. 
So we appreciate everything and they've done for us. And, and this is our 75th. We appreciate our community coming out and celebrating with us. We are ready um, for this event this year. And again, thank you for coming today. It's going to be an amazing event. Thank you, County Commissioners. Um, today, the mayor was not able to join us, but instead we get to hear from Councilman John Roberts as he reads the proclamation. It's an awful lot, lot like what Deb just wrote. Uh, I do want to thank the, the uh, board and everything that they've done to bring this to fruition this year. It's been a very interesting year. Um, I can only speak on my behalf as one council person, but I do support this and also being on the board I'm very happy to see this come forward. I think that it's wonderful that people can get out and enjoy themselves here. I hope that everybody has a lot of fun. Uh, my wife and I myself have been volunteers at the fair for, I don't know, somewhere around 15 years now, so it's been important to us for a long time. So anyway, this is an executive proclamation, Rapid City, South Dakota, Office of the Mayor. Whereas the Central States Fair began in 1946 at the, as the Black Hills Exposition and the Range Day Rodeo has been a part of the Central States Fair since its inception. Produced at one time by the world champion cowboy Casey Tibbs and includes the PRCA Range Days Rodeo and the PR CA Extreme Bronx Finals. And whereas over the past 75 years, the Central States Fair has evolved from a small local event to a renowned attraction offering carnival activities, free stage events, food on a stick, craft and culinary competitions, cattle shows, horse events, and nine nights of grandstand entertainment, including concerts and the Range Day Rodeo. And whereas the Central States Fair is one of the largest events in Rapid City during the summer months with over 150 locals and visitors in attendance each year, and whereas in honor of the origins of the fair and its modest beginnings, the Central States Fair continues to proudly support the ranching and agricultural industry by, by partnering with local government and businesses to bring a positive awareness to the farm and agricultural community. And whereas the Central States Fair management staff, board of directors, community leaders from Pennington County and Rapid City, and hundreds of volunteers have shared the vision and passion to make this annual event a memorial experience, a memorable experience for thousands to enjoy and look forward to each year. Therefore, I, John Roberts, on behalf of Steve Allender, Mayor of Rapid City, do hereby proclaim August 21st through August 30th, 2020 as Central State States Fair Week in Rapid City and encourage citizens to visit the fair and participate in all festivities they have to offer throughout the week. Thank you very much and enjoy the fair.